So guys the next question, now this was an image based question, okay. Now it looked very simple when you looked at the image and the question is also very simple, what is the diagnosis? So the diagnosis you know as such when you are looking at it is limbal dermoid, yes, because you all learnt about the golden heart syndrome where this limbal dermoid is seen, yes and you can see these hair on top of it, yes. But now look at the options. So you can straight away rule out pterygium and pingucula because this is not pterygium, this is not pingucula. Yes, all of you are sure about that. Now comes the difficult part whether it is option C or option D, dermoid or lipodermoid. You know you are really stuck here. I do understand your predicament because even if I were to sit for the exam, you know a couple of uh, years or decades ago, I would have had the same problem. No dermoid or lipodermoid. Now for this you need to know a little more or I would say a little more not it is not really worth your time to know little more you know. But now that the question has been asked now you should know a little more okay. So this is a dermoid, dermoid is a choristoma. What is a choristoma? When you have an abnormal structure in a place where it is not supposed to be. Yes, can you have hair there? No, you are not supposed to have hair there, right? And this mass, no. So, this is definitely a choristoma. So, and this is definitely a limbal dermoid. Now, how do we know whether it is dermoid or lipodermoid? So, I will explain a little bit, then you can tell me the answer at the end of the explanation. So, limbal dermoid. based on its clinical appearance and its histopathology. So once you excise the limbal dermoid and you send it for histopathology, there are four types. So one is a dermoid, another is lipodermoid, then we have complex choristoma and then we have epibulbar osseous choristoma. Now this last one the fourth one kind of you know is self explanatory osseous so there are some bony components there are some cartilaginous component. So let us go one by one. Now dermoid definitely it is a choristoma. Yes, so all these are choristomas although the last two types only have the name choristoma there but still dermoid, lipodermoid are also. Now dermoid is something where you have you know other tissues like you have hair follicles, there is sebaceous gland in that little mass, yes. Now what is a lipodermoid? Lipodermoid as the word says more of fatty tissue, yeah, adipose tissue and complex choristoma is going to have lacrimal tissue, yes it is more complex, it is going to have lacrimal tissue, some skeletal tissue, yes. And epibulbar osseous choristoma as the name, name says it is going to have bony component, alright. Now when you look at this, do we have hair follicles? Yes, we do have hair follicles and even let us say in your exam you did not have that much resolution in the image to pick up the hair follicles which is usually the case. Now if you had an image like the way I have given you know the answer is dermoid because there are hair follicles. Now supposing there is not a good image how do you go about it? This is the most common type. So what is your diagnosis now? Is it dermoid or lipodermoid? Now it is a clear cut case of dermoid, yes, yes. A seemingly simple question has been made tricky by the answers, alright, okay. So now where do you get limbal dermoid? We get it in golden heart syndrome. Now what is golden heart syndrome? 
Now golden heart syndrome is oculo auriculo vertebral syndrome where there are eye findings. So in the eye there is lit coloboma, there is this limbal dermoid, then there can be squint, auricular components. So there can be pre-auricular skin tag and other external ear malformations. And what about the vertebra? There is just half the vertebra what we call as hemi vertebra and this is a problem of the second branchial arch development, okay, developmental anomaly. So whenever you see a case of limbal dermoid, you will have to you know get an ENT consult because all that we can probably uh, look at is the preauricular skin tags that is visible to us. But what is there in the external ear canal we cannot really see into it no or probably we do not know as much and also x-ray spine and send for an ortho consult as well okay. So this is golden heart syndrome alright. Mm -hmm.